You are listening to Catholic Family Podcast. Greetings, fellow travelers through the liturgical year. This is Lisa Davis with a really quick feast day quick take. Because busy as this week has been, I just can't let this day go by without honoring its heavenly patron. His full name was Aurelius Augustinus. He was born on November 13, 354, in present-day Algeria. He died on August 28th in 430 AD at the age of 76. And he has been what we call nowadays an influencer for a millennia and a half. St. Augustine, Doctor of the Church, known by many as the son of St. Monica's Tears, a highly educated and profligate sinner who, by his mother's prayers and the grace of God, not only converted but became a priest and saved his own soul but has through the wisdom of his copious writings contributed to the salvation of countless other souls seeking the truth as he himself did his words are timeless as truth is timeless as a tribute to saint augustine on his feast day we'd like to share through the modern medium of memes a random sampling of his quotations many that you might recognize without knowing that they trace back to this great father of the church. You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our heart is restless until it rests in you. God loves each of us as if there were only one of us. This is the very perfection of a man, to find out his own imperfections. People hate the truth for the sake of whatever it is they love more than the truth. They love truth when it shines warmly on them and hate it when it rebukes them. Beauty grows in you to the extent that love grows because charity itself is the soul's beauty. Understanding is the reward of faith. Therefore, seek not to understand that you may believe, but believe that you may understand. He who denies the existence of God has some reason for wishing that God did not exist. O Holy Spirit, descend plentifully into my heart, enlighten the dark corners of this neglected dwelling, and scatter there your cheerful beams. People travel to wonder at the height of the mountains, at the huge waves of the seas, at the long course of the rivers, at the vast compass of the ocean, at the circular motion of the stars, and yet they pass by themselves without wondering. Pray as though everything depended upon God, work as though everything depended upon you. Trials and tribulations offer us a chance to make reparation for our past faults and sins. On such occasions, the Lord comes to us like a physician to heal the wounds left by our sins. Tribulation is the divine medicine. A man may lose the good things of this life against his will, but if he loses the eternal blessings, he does so with his own consent. Trust the past to God's mercy, the present to God's love, and the future to God's providence. He was created of a mother whom he created, He was carried by hands that he formed. He cried in the manger in wordless infancy. He, the word without whom all human eloquence is mute. In your present life, God cherishes you and helps you and provides all you need here and cuts away all that could harm you. By giving you all these things, he comforts you so that you can hold out and by taking them away, he corrects you so that you may not perish. The Lord has you in his care, so do not worry. He who made you is carrying you. There is one road and one only, well secured against all possibility of going astray, and this road is provided by one who is himself both God and man. As God, he is the goal. As man, he is the way. If you see that you have not yet suffered tribulations, consider it certain that you have not begun to be a true servant of God. For St. Paul says plainly that all who chose to live godly in Christ shall suffer persecutions. Conquer yourself and the world lies at your feet. 
Patience is the companion of wisdom. Hope has two beautiful daughters. Their names are anger and courage. Anger, that things are the way they are. Courage, to make them the way they ought to be. You aspire to great things? Begin with little ones. It is no advantage to be near the light if the eyes are closed. When people choose to withdraw far from a fire, the fire continues to give warmth, but they grow cold. When people choose to withdraw far from light, the light continues to be bright in itself, but they are in darkness. This is also the case when people withdraw from God. What grace is meant to do is to help good people, not to escape their sufferings, but to bear them with a stout heart, with a fortitude that finds its strength in faith. In failing to confess, Lord, I would only hide you from myself, not myself from you. Miracles are not contrary to nature, but only contrary to what we know about nature. Wrong is wrong, even if everyone is doing it. Right is right, even if no one is doing it. Two criminals were crucified with Christ. One was saved. Do not despair. One was not. Do not presume. Humility is the foundation of all the other virtues. Hence, in the soul in which this virtue does not exist, there cannot be any other virtue except in mere appearance. Do you wish to rise? Begin by descending. You plan a tower that will pierce the clouds? Lay first the foundation of humility. Christ is not valued at all unless he is valued above all. God provides the wind, but man must raise the sails. The measure of love is to love without measure. The world being unworthy to receive the Son of God directly from the hands of the Father, he gave his Son to Mary for the world to receive him from her. To fall in love with God is the greatest romance, to seek him the greatest adventure, to find him the greatest human achievement. He who created us without our help will not save us without our consent. We are Christians and strangers on earth. Let none of us be frightened. Our native land is not in this world. God judged it better to bring good out of evil than to suffer no evil to exist. The truth is like a lion. You don't have to defend it. Let it loose, it will defend itself. God is always trying to give good things to us, but our hands are too full to receive them. Bad times, hard times, this is what people keep saying. But let us live well, and times shall be good. We are the times. Such as we are, such are the times. St. Augustine of Hippo, pray for us. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints and happy blessed name day to Father Augustine Waltz.